Hello everybody and welcome to Enter the Gungeon of Farewell to Arms. In the previous episode we had a really cool little gunslinger run, but in this episode we got something even more different going on. What's all this? Uh, you're not the right person, there you go. What's all this? Who are these special guys? So we have uh, we have a little a little mod going on here. Got some modded characters in. Um, and I'm going to turn on rainbow enemies, yes. Uh, but I'm also going to play Lady. Because she's an actual character in the game that has like full animations, which was never added. Which is kind of a cool character. So we're going to play as her. I just thought it was something kind of unique for us to do. And something fun for us to do. I haven't really messed around with any of the modded characters yet. It's, it's only really recently become a big thing in the game. So I thought, oopsie. I thought we should uh, give it a go and try it out. I did accidentally start a rainbow run there. Not what I wanted. Uh, but yeah, I think it's going to be kind of a, a cool little venture into the modding side of this game. And I'm excited to I'm excited to try him out, especially considering a character like this has like full proper animations, um, and is really like well done, and is basically just being completed by a modder and made into an actual proper playable character using Kyle's amazing mod. He starts with the Lamy gun. He starts with bloody eye, the Derringer for some reason, uh, and the hip holster. The hip holster is really nice to have. Oh, this class is the unfinished gun, apparently. I think it's because it doesn't technically have a name, because it's like its own weapon. It's a custom weapon. I also installed a few other mods as well. Um, two of them are custom item mods, so we might be seeing some custom items. As I said before, I'm also using the hollowed mod, made by Abe Clancy. Uh, so we got that one going as well. But yeah, so we're going to be hopefully seeing some new items. And I just thought, after our streak ended, we should get some mods involved, because mods are fun. Mods are very fun. And there's some really good ones out at the minute. So I think we should try and have a little test around with them. And maybe we'll mess around a little more with uh, with Mod the Gungeon as we go. And you guys can set me some challenges and things like that. I'll probably stick to just doing normal videos with some of the custom characters for now. But as we uh, as we get later into this, I'm sure I can I can do some challenges. I was planning on waiting until about episode 50. But I thought, to be fair, I might as well just start it now. Considering, oopsie, considering we lost our streak, so it's kind of the perfect time to start this sort of stuff. And we can start building streaks on the um, Abe Clancy version of Paradox, which has properly randomised stats and health, and some of the new characters. And as more and more come out, we get to try more and more. The ones I got at the minute are the Afflicted, Lamy, and YV. Um, and all of them, I've tested them out. They're all they're all pretty fun. Lamy is uh, probably my favourite because hip holster is an item I really love. Um, and getting to start with it is awesome. It makes a lot of weapons in this game way more enjoyable to use, especially ones like the mass shotgun or the RC rocket or anything that only has one ammo in its magazine. It makes guns like that very, very potent. So very much looking forward to getting one of them. YV is pretty fun as well. He basically has built-in shadow bullets, kind of. He has a chance to fire twice, like the YV shrine gives you. Um... So that was kind of interesting to use. And then the Afflicted, I've tried him out, but he's got some custom items, so I didn't really want to do too much with him, because I kind of want to experience that all for the first time when I play it on uh, on video. So I've kind of left him alone. I did t take a look and make sure he worked, but I I'm going to kind of leave him alone and wait, because like I said, he does have some custom items that I don't really know too much about. I've read the descriptions, but I haven't, I haven't played around with them at all, so it'll be interesting. It seems like he's a character that kind of works on, like, you get different bonuses, whether you've got armor and haven't and things like that. And we are obviously still in turbo mode, in case you're wondering. I'm basically going to stay in turbo mode for the, the rest of this life cycle of the game, because it just adds a little more challenge for me, and I'm kind of used to it now, so it, it'd, be, it'd be really slow-paced to not have turbo mode on anymore, and I don't know how I'd handle it. <laughs> But yes, yeah, so the the one thing I am a bit confused about is why this character starts with a Derringer. Like, I thought it was going to be like she's going to only start with a Derringer. It's going to have unlimited ammo, but she actually starts with her own Lamy gun. So I'm not quite sure what that's about. Uh, I've got two... Oh no, we haven't found our other chest yet. We've got one brown chest. We've still got one more to find. Would like to go to Oubliette, and we, we can indeed. We can afford a key, and we found a key as well. So we're doing all right so far, and we can definitely make our way down there. But yeah, it's interesting to to play a new character. It's really something that uh, hasn't been explored too heavily in Gungeon uh, for a long time. There's been reskins, but no real re um, like real characters because. The only really thing you could do is get a character reskin mod and a character loadout mod and kind of build your own characters, but you couldn't really do it to this extent. I suppose we can find secret rooms for the Derringer. I suppose it works kind of well with the hip hole, so you get an extra shot out of it. But let's go and we'll open that blue chest because we want to be trying to find these new items and also we just want more uh, more weaponry and things like that. So we'll, we'll open this chest. 
I know I can get a guaranteed boss weapon, but honestly, I'm pretty happy with that. Bit of armor, bit of speed. I believe Lamy also starts with a little higher movement speed and fire rate, if I remember correctly. So she does start with a little bit extra on, on top of other characters in terms of just items and stats all together, but it's not going to be an advantage that's going to make it so we easily win the run or anything. Like, hip holster, it could be. It really depends on the items we get given throughout the run. I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference unless we get something, like I said, like RC Rocket. Um, they're, the, they're the real big hitters for, um, for hip holster. So unless we get one of them, I don't think it's going to be that big of a difference. Like with this gun, it's, it's one extra bullet every now and then. It's really not that many. I'm going to try and finish this guy off. There you go. Um, but... The, the bloody eye, honestly, the bloody eye is going to help quite a lot on turbo mode. That's going to be that's going to be really nice. It's going to be kind of weird getting used to always having, like if we play her like a few times over, always having the slowed down bullets. It's going to maybe throw us off for our runs where we don't have the bloody eye in every run. So that might not be such a great thing. But honestly, for, for right now, I'm glad we have it. It's going to help out a lot. Uh, and then, like I said, yeah, I don't really know what to think about get, getting the Derringer. It doesn't really seem that relevant to the character. We've got the Anne villain. Um, I quite like the Anne villain. I'm quite happy with that. Look at that speed. Where speedy boosties, my god. Um, didn't get a key, so we'll destroy this. Nice, got some junk. No junk in for us today, unfortunately. We'll see. Maybe, maybe he'll, maybe he'll come through for us. I'll also check for a secret room here as well. Nope. No secret room for us. Let's keep going back. I use the anvil for room clearing. I tend to like the anvil and more as a room clearer than I do as a boss killer. Anyways, it can be used for both. It's kind of a, a mix match sort of uh, sort of weapon, but I do like it more as a room clearer because of the knockback it has um, and the the ability to hit enemies more than once while knocking them back makes it a little more potent as a as a room clearer, especially when you have multiple enemies lined up or like one high HP enemy. You can really do a lot of damage with it. For the singular enemies, it's not going to be as effective. But then again. It's not like we need the ammo desperately. We definitely can kill the Oubliette boss with our pistol. The Lamy's pistol seems to be pretty decent. We're not going to use it on this guy. Mm -mm, there's just no point. This guy's just going to blow up. There we go. Gotcha. But if we can hit multiple enemies, that's that's where the, the, the real payoff starts to show itself, like that look. Oh, also, just realized, it's pretty good with hip holster too. Look at that. Trying to, uh, getting basically a free shot with every magazine, which is pretty good. And the, the free shot doesn't expend ammo too, so it basically effectively increases our ammo by quite a lot, as long as we use it correctly. The, uh, the free shot, that is. We don't want to just throw good after bad, like we did just there. If we can actually make good use of it, it's going to be quite nice to have that. That was a pretty good combo right there. Calm down, little blobby lord. Quick, ah, oh, gotcha. Alright, let's go into the shop here. Ooh, I would love to get bounty bullets. That would be that would be a nice purchase. I would like to have. Oh, look at that. Get, being able to hit him twice there killed him in just one hit. Ooh, that's gonna be a bit more of a of a high quality purchase for us there. So probably probably more likely to go after that than I would be the um, bounty bullets. Although bounty bullets are very fun. A black chest is a bit more tantalizing to me. Damn. I hate it when you accidentally leave one of the white ones because they are so annoying. Give me that HP. So let's 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 hope that we get a key drop here so that we don't have to buy a key, um, and then we can still get bounty bullets hopefully, and have the best of both worlds, as Mrs. Cyrus herself would say. Is that is that Hannah Montana? I think it is. I can't remember. It's been a while since I saw that show. Note how I said saw and not watched. It's not a show worth watching. It was drivel. It was Disney Channel, wasn't it? And again, like it's probably been a while since I watched Disney Channel, so. Who remembers? Who remembers when she was just a sweet, innocent, normal pop star rather than what she is now? Which I I don't I don't really know how to do Ow! I don't really know how to describe what she is now. I don't think anyone does. Billy Ray Cyrus is is not happy, I don't think. That's her paw. Oh my god. I love the way that she has her own icon on the map. I'm actually, I'm very tempted, although it would be a lot of work. But by the way, let me just start with one curse as well, if you're wondering why we've got a cursed enemy. Um, 
I'm very tempted to make my own character, like a turtle melon character, but the, the actual work that goes into spriting a character is a lot. Like, a lot and a lot. And I'm not very good at uh, pixel art, so... It would take me quite a while. So, what I might do is I might see if I can hire someone to do it for me. I might see if I can pay someone to do it for me. I don't know who I'd get in contact with um, to, to get that done, but... I would love to. Because I'm very interested in having my own character. That'd be very fun. I don't know what I'd... It'd definitely have uh, Turtle Trouble. But I don't know what else it'd have. Like, I don't know what else I'd, I'd give myself that'd be fair. So I don't want to just give myself, like, scatter shot or something. I might give myself Chance Bullets because I always find Chance Bullets fun. Ah. Uh, I don't know. What would... what If you guys could make me a character, what items would you give me? What items do you think fit me the best? Like my personality, my, my play style, and my, my character's like image. What, what do you think would best fit me? Because I really don't know. Right. Bye. Well, let's do our boss first and see if we get a key from the boss. Because that is, that is a possibility. That is a possibility. We could get something nice there. Oh, that extra, that extra anvil is just... Dealing nice damage for us. The fact this only has three shots is really making it that much better. We might even be able to kill him before we run out of ammo. And I, I actually think we will because of that second anvil. And as well, the second anvil is just far enough away that we don't hit damage cap. So we're dealing full damage rather than wasting it. Oh, here she comes. Oh, actually, are we going to be able to? We've only got two shots, or technically three. Nah, not quite. I thought we were going to be able to get it, but not quite. He's almost dead, though. We got him. We got him. Right, give us a key. It'd be really great if you could give us a key. We got a key. We got the Devolver, too. Not super interested in it, but like I said, Abe Clancy's mod does make it better, so I can't complain. Um, I will open this bad boy up, and we got the worst thing in here. Noise. Bouncy bullets. And, oh, we can't afford the key. Oh, well. Damn. Gilded Hydra. Not really what I was looking for. A shame. A darn shame. Darn, darn. Oh, can't find secret rooms without that. What am I doing? Nope. Give me that secret room to free my soul. It might actually be in the shop. Yeah, the sh No, it can't be. There's not enough space. Uh, I'll check the, end the exit room. I'm not going to go looking around for everywhere. Nope. Let's head down. So, bit of a shame we got Gilded Hydra. Basically, if you didn't know, the Gilded Hydra, it gets more ammo in its magazine for every half a heart you're missing, which isn't really that good. It's it's a an S-tier item that requires you to take damage to, take, to, to use it to its full effectiveness, which I think is just silly. I don't think any S-tier item should require you to get hurt to be good. This, like, the shot itself is pretty damn strong. But when you have to reload like this, it's not that good. If we if we got like four or five shots and it'd be nice, but I'm not taking damage just, just for that. It's just not worth it. By the way, I haven't actually tested that these new items are actually in the game. I've installed the mod. I hope it's working, but I've got no I've got no say on whether it actually is. That's something that I really wish a modder would fix. So the way that hip holster works is it fires a shot after you fired, but it doesn't fire another full shotgun blast. It fires one pellet. I really wish it'd fire another full shotgun blast. Because one pellet doesn't really do much. I think, they should, I think someone should try and fix that, or the developers should try and fix that. But I, I doubt the developers are going to be doing much work on this game. After now. Give me that blank. Give me, give, give me that blank. Give me that blank. Give me that blank. Thank you. Got one of them. Almost got the second. But yeah, so we're just going to use it like a normal shotgun for now. We're not going to use it as a super powerful S tier because it's just not going to get used in that way. We're going to take out some average average Joes with it. Oh my god, it only just killed that guy. Oh, he's jammed. We should be able to push him in there. Yep, yeah, also. Easy killings. A nice green chest for us. There's still no key though. We have to buy one from the shop. Well, we, we, we definitely will. It doesn't look like Rat Fight is going to be too plausible because we bought Bouncy Bullets, which I honestly don't mind. Um, meh, meh. But, oh, balls. I walked I walked into it. Really shouldn't have done that. I tried to roll, but I rolled a little too early. That was good. 
So it is still effective at least. That's nice. Just a shame that it has to be the way it is. Done. Get that room. It's so much better if it just like had a base of four magazine size then increased with every rather than having a base of one. Then it'd make it much more S tier quality. And also like have it have 75 ammo rather than 52. Then it'd be like a very good STR item. And I know they do have to have some bad STR items. You can't have all of them be bangers, otherwise it kind of throws off the whole balance of the game. But you should be a bit better. In fact, I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to put that in, and I'm going to put the Devolver in. Because I'm not going to use the Devolver, and the Gilded Hydra is just bad. Hopefully we get something great out of this. It should be A tier, I think. Honestly, that's, that's B tier. But Bundle of Wands is better. It just is. It's better than both of us. And now we have some... Uh, some of the hollowed st stat on us, which means that we can now um, see rainbow enemies, which are basically enemies that have lower HP, but higher speed in terms of movement and higher shot speed. So they're quite deadly. It really depends on the enemy. Some of the smaller enemies, like if we've got that sniper, isn't actually that big of a problem because they have such low HP when they're um, the rainbow variants that you can kill them before they can even shoot. But some of the bigger ones that you can't kill quite as quickly become quite problematic. Yeah, it's going to be good for us. Blue chest. Only blue. Right, let's get a key. Go open this thing up. Oh, we're getting just the, my, my least favorite items right now. I don't really like the ice giant at all. Alright, let's use this bad boy. Hey, Beholster. How are you? Get rid of your child. He's laser beaming us. He's laser beaming us. Thinks it can be fancy with it, but we're going to get him. As long as we get the missiles early, we should be fine. And his babies as well. Whenever he tries to set, set up a, a, a play pen with his children, we just kill them. We don't like we don't like his kids. I don't want to be mean, but they do have guns. Children shouldn't have guns talking to you, America. No, I don't know. Ooh, alien engine. Cool. Ooh. Uh, we don't have enough to open this, so let's just beam it. Blast its ass. Let's go down to the next floor. Eh. This runs a bit so-so so far. So-so so far. So-so so so so. It's, it's alright. We got some decent stuff, but we got nothing out of this world. Um, I'm probably going to use alien engine and risk my HP. For a lot of this. In fact, the fact that I'm doing this means I probably should have stuck with, um... Oh my god. I probably should have stuck with Gilded Hydra so that I could, um, basically get hit and actually make it useful, but we didn't know that at the time, did we? How were we to know? How were we to know? This is gonna be nice. I just wanna kill these guys as quickly as possible because this turret is a real pain in my aim. Please go away, turret. Please go away. Got it. Nice. Um, ammo for this bad boy. I like using the alien engine because of the risk. It just makes it makes me feel like a big man. I like it a lot. You've got in the minecart, you absolute rebel. How about you step off, fam? Bam. You're done now. God, that's an old meme. I used to use that in my videos all the time. Now I'm all grown up. Nah, I'm the same age. Table. Oh, fuck. I missed the table. I did set him on fire briefly, though, so it's okay. And you're on fire, too. How are you not dead? You scallywag. Got me. The turret boy almost got me as well. Yes, them shotgunners, when they have that brief period where they can't shoot because they just have. It's my time to shine. That is my time to shine. Oh. Yeah, by the way, another reason the Gilded Hydra is so bad is if you already have red HP missing and then pick up the Gilded Hydra, that, that HP doesn't count. It only it only counts missing HP after picking it up, which is bullshit. Very much bullshit. My god, they, they, they just both of these have just spawned and instantly killed themselves. Well done. You have achieved nothing with your life. Well fucking done, boy. 
Come here, you. Oh my god, I got hit. Nice. Oh, a key. Love it. Love it. Get another key here. And a cell creep, which we don't really need. We can sell the Derringer, I suppose. Oh, why'd I do that? We could sell the Derringer, I suppose. Oh, key. Got ya. <laughs> Watch the skill. What? Wow. Gotcha. What's in here? Fucking shit. Right. Hold our worst weapon just in case it takes a weapon off us. And it did. Disarmed plus blanked. Um. Excuse me? Yeah, if, if whenever you use one of them shrines, always hold your worst weapon because of the chance that you get disarmed like I did there. And it doesn't really matter if you get disarmed when it's your worst weapon. But my god, we have a bit too many blanks now, I think. Just a few too many. In challenge mode, I can do it. High stress. Okay, we need to end this room as quickly as possible. It is ended. Oof. What can you give us? Radiated lead. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with that. That's a pretty decent payout. I'll open that up. I might as well. Oh, sticky crossbow. Fish lord. You know what it is. Oh, also, it's pretty decent with um, bouncy bullets and uh, the reload, the hip holster. Very nice indeed. Gotcha. I really like the uh, sticky crossbow. I've mentioned this before. I think it was in the last run even, uh, but it's so much better with synergies. It's very good now, but it's like synergies just kind of alleviate the issue of it having such low ammo because that's the main reason people dislike it, I think. It feels like it's just not got quite enough in it to, to have that oomph, that kick people are looking for. Gotcha. I want to try something when we get to our boss. Wait, let's, let's just see. I think it's worth reloading after every shot with that thing. I think that's going to be more... Oh, accuracy. Yes, that's good. Accuracy feels bouncy bullets is always nice. Um, oh my god. I think it's actually going to be worth us reloading after every single shot. Because, I think we've got both our health. No, just one. Um, because we're going to get more anvils and the reload is so fast that I think it is worth it. Um, the only thing is, I do have to take my hand off to reload early, which is not ideal. Yeah, it's, 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 it's good in theory, but in practice it's kind of difficult, so I'm not going to mess around with it because I feel like it's going to be the thing that gets me hit, and your puppy here don't want to get hit. How the shit did I dodge that? Oh, what? Oh, he's a rainbow enemy. That's why. I'm like, why the hell is that guy firing so fast and he's a rainbow enemy? The game has screwed me. Game screwed me. Screwed me up this precious little flawless I want here. Oh well. We're fine. We're fine. We've got enough blanks to last us through the entire game and and probably the next two. Oh, we got duct tape as well. Cool. Um, what should we duct tape here? Um. Hmm. Let's save it for now. Let's save it for now. And we'll, we'll see. Because I really want to duct tape the anvil to something. But I'm not sure what yet. Because... Because it needs to be something with a lot of ammo. We have alien engine, but the knockback is just too ridiculous, really, isn't it? Let's use this thing for a bit. So we'll see what we get after this floor. And see, see where we stand. And also, my duct tape is still broken on this save file. Like, you just, if you run out of ammo with one of the guns, it runs out of ammo. Like, it just stops firing it all together. The way that duct tape should work, it should combine the ammo pools. And even if you, say, say one gun has 100 ammo and the other has 200. What would happen is, it'd make the combined ammo count 300, as it should. But once you go down to 200 ammo and, and 100 is gone, the, the, the gun that had 100 ammo just no longer fires, even though that's not how it should work. Never, it never has before. I, I, I just, I think it's just a bug with my game. It's, it's, it's always happened. So, whether it'll happen again, it, it seems to be kind of random. Sometimes it doesn't happen. I think it depends on the weaponry. Yeah, 
this. Oh my god, I got an itchy nose. Worst time. The worst time. Gotcha. I think. Yeah, there we go. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Go away, spotter. You're not wanted in these parts. Just give me some chests. And actually something to spend my money on as well. I have a lot of money that I'm not really doing anything with, with right now. Oh shit, we're out. Ice giant, I guess. I guess I'll use it. Might be the first time I've ever used it. No. I say ever. First time in a very long time. Even even though I've picked it up multiple times over the course of this series. It's probably the first time I've used it on the series. Because I just very rarely take it out and actually shoot it. <laughs> even if I pick it up. Because I just don't... It runs out of ammo so quickly, and it really doesn't do that much more damage than, than a lot of the other guns in the game. It's really not warranted to have such low ammo. Yes, it does freeze, but you have to get so close. It's, it's, it's basically like saying, the Phoenix is good. You can set enemies on fire with it. It's like, that doesn't make it good. It doesn't. For saying that, you are a liar. Or delusional. One of the two. Look at this, we're almost out of ammo already. We've gone through like three rooms with this thing. It's not enough, boy. It's not enough. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Who's jamming you? Hey, soul sister. Out of ammo. That was terrible. Running out of ammo on basically everything here. Please give us some really high ammo count weapons on this floor, please. Especially one that I can duct tape quite nicely. I think I got this guy. Yeah, I did. Nice. Cool. Right. We got for us. Uh, we don't really need any more blanks, but thanks, I guess. Yeah, thanks, I guess. <laughs> don't really need many more of those blanky things you got there for us, but. I'll take it. I should probably try and beat the boss first so we get a guaranteed weapon because we kind of need it. We're just so low on ammo and I, I fear for our bullet hell. Our bullet hell isn't looking promising right now and that is kind of what killed us on our last run. So yeah, I'll go and do this now. And of course we got the worst, most horrible bastard. We might lose our flawless. We do have enough blanks, so we should. We should be fine, but you know me. Mr. Anti-Blank. I very rarely use my blanks when I should, so... Let's just use them whenever we feel like we're in danger here. Where are you? There you are. The poison's gonna be nice. At least this guy can be poisoned. It gives us another avenue of damage. No, I got hit anyways. God damn it. Oh, we lose another flawless. Great stuff. The wall bullets are getting me. I think it was a wall bullet that got me, to be honest. They always do in this fight. Can't remember the last time I flawless this guy. I've not lost a run to this guy in a while, but I've lost many flawlesses to this guy. Thank God he has a cap on this now. I remember the days when he could do this as many times as he wanted, and it was awful. Ah, I don't give a shit about being hit anymore, dude. You think I care? I've got health banked up. I'm good. I'm fine. Yeah, but now now he can only do that attack where he goes invisible twice. Same with kind of Balrag. And both of them before had an unlimited, uh, like, uh, use on that before AG and D. Good if we get the synergy. Otherwise, it's pretty poor. Um, we haven't found our shop yet. Fair enough. Oh, hello. You could be very useful to us. Um, I'm sure you use this again. What's going on in there? Very loud music on. I think the, is it music or are they watching Star Wars? One or the other. Can't tell. I can just hear faint mumbling through the walls and it kind of sounds like Star Wars. Kind of sounds like Star Wars. Ah! Don't touch you, don't touch you. Nice, going with our last bullet. The map. We did get a chest. It's nice, but we don't have any keys to open it with. Hey! 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 Get back. <laughs> he just lobbed it. God damn it. 
Right, we're basically out of ammo on almost everything here, so looking good for us. Looking real good. Please. The crutch is nice, but it's not really what we need right now, is it? Uh, let's find out other chest. Oh, we have a, a guy, so I'm very upset that I just spent all my money on the crutch. Very upset indeed. I should have looked at that first, shouldn't I? He's going to have some good stuff that we can't afford now. Although we do have a sell creep on this floor, so we can sell some stuff to get some money. Hey, another key. That's perfect. I'm going to open both our chests. Oh, ho, that was some skillful moving right there. What you got for us? You got double vision. Double vision is pretty nice. Let's open these up. M1. Oh, we got... What's the synergy? Oh, it's diazepam. Right, we might want to... We might want to merge that, that together. Uh, let's go get out of the chest, see what we get. Oh, pfft. chicken suicide. The hell's this? The beast blood injection. Let's find out what that does, shall we? The beast blood injection. Let's have a look. Beast Blood Injection. Increase chaos by 1 when held. Reusable active item, no cooldown. On use, minus 1 heart. Additive 2% damage, plus 0.3% for each point of curse. Starts with 2.3% and it gives you the... You lose 1 whole heart for 2% damage. That seems like a unfair trade. Also, Lamy can hold 2 actives. Um, for science, let's use it once. Oh, okay. It doesn't, g it's not the heart container. That's fine. God damn, I thought it meant the heart container. That would be brutal. That would be brutal. But let's, um, let's duct tape the M1. Right, right, right. So I want double vision. So let's duct tape the M1 to the anvil. Seems pretty cool. I like it. And then we can go double vision as well. So if we just... Let's just do that. Let's try this thing out. Okay, so if we tap it, we don't have to use any anvils at all. Okay, so we've got a sniper here with a decent amount of ammo. Very fast fire it. That fires... Oh, there's a rainbow one. Rainbow boy. That fires an anvil on reload. That's kind of cool. We've made something interesting here. Although this ammo isn't particularly high. Uh, let's sell some stuff. We've got very many, very many things with not much use. Um, junk. Junk. And then, I guess, is it down? No, it's, it's X, isn't it? Yeah. X. Actually, I'll keep this because this has got, this is nice. Okay, so I forgot about this. I've set my, um, I've set my drop weapon thing to X to do the quick drop. But I've also, but it's also X to speak to people, so which is kind of confusing. Cool. Now we've got some money for the next floor. Um, and let's go down with this beastly thing. But yeah, I think we've made kind of... It's, it's interesting, I suppose, at least. We're, we're, it's, it's a bit hard to use the anvil correctly, because obviously it's a charge weapon mixed with a non-charge weapon, which is kind of something you shouldn't really do, but it's all right, I guess. And we get to use the, uh, the sniper normally, in normal rooms anyways. I think we killed him. We did. We did. It's going to be better for bosses than it is for room clearing, definitely. Yeah, the anvil plus bounty bullets is really nice as well. I, I, I forgot to even mention the fact that we have that combo. Very good. Oh, the crutch. Perfect. Where are you? Anvils. Go. Anvils plus crutch is awesome. 
Yeah, I'm liking this combo. We're running out of ammo with it pretty quickly, though. That's the only thing. Now, that was kind of our chief concern, so... Maybe I should have gone with um, Alien Engine, but the knockback which would have been too pesky. Too annoying. Once we get ammo for it, I'm sure it'll be cool. Plus one bullets. Yes. This is looking like an unlikely win. I'll put it that way. But basically, we have no weaponry, no ammo, um, and low HP. So, gonna bank on, on this being a loss. I really hope it isn't, but it just feels like it's going to be. I'm liking this cool combo we've got going on now, though. We're out of ammo. We're out of ammo, and we've got the sticky crossbow and the alien engine left. Good golly gosh. This is going to be a difficult, difficult time for us. Ow. You really had to, you really had to do that, didn't you? Come on, block. Come on, ghosts, where are you? Or is there another enemy about? Or is? Okay, there's the ghosts. Nice. Please, chest, be kind to me. You're not kind to me. I can't open you. I don't have the money. You bastard. Oh, it's a mimic, thank god. It's a mimic. It's a heart container. Oh my god. Jesus, praise be. Really, bitch? <laughs> Come on now. You've got to do me dirt like that. I can't give you any HP. I already have another method of, of giving away HP. I can't do it again. And I'm getting hit a lot because I'm having to use the alien engine. Oh my god, ammo. Gimme. Noise. Oh my god, more ammo. Yes, please. Just getting a few anvils in the room. Lovely. And a chest. Hey all. Oh, the stunning is so good. It's just the ammo loss is crazy. We use so much ammo with this thing, it's insane. Luckily the bounty bullets makes makes the uh, the missed shots a little more effective. Especially missed shots um especially plus uh, crutch, sorry. So we're not exactly wasting them, but it does feel like we're firing a lot more shots than we have to to make make an enemy die. Which is a bit of a shame. What's left? Okay, it's this. There you go. That's all good. It's all good. There you go, look at that. Ooh, more ammo. I think I guess we have to take it for this because it's on the lowest ammo. The game's been kind to us now, it, it, it knows. It knows we're struggling. How are you not dead? Nice, gotcha. A chest. Mimic? No. Sad times when it's not a mimic. Let's go to the shop, see if we can afford a key. I think we can. 50 should be enough. 40, yeah. Cool, let's open this bad boy. You gave me an item with unlimited ammo. You sexy, sexy game. Thank you. Exactly what we needed right now. Basically, this is our boss killer. Would have been nice to still have duct tape at this point, though. I really want a flawless here as well. Our, our HP is pretty low. Wait, we've somehow missed four bullets. How? Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's okay. We got them back now. Double vision gets them back. That's a good little combo there. If we lose ammo, we, if, as long as we have some ammo in it, double vision's going to get them back for us. I like that. I like it better than I cannot lie. I think I was actually just a bit too far away when I was in that corner and technically the bullets weren't hitting. I think that was the problem. There you go. And then this should easily kill the heart in one 
one cycle if we double vision. Easily, I'd hope. Also, hip holster is another semi semi decent synergy with this thing, because we get another free shot, which means another chance to regen more ammo. So if if we had one shot in this and just one shot reload, one shot reload, we'd eventually build up all our ammo back. Nice. I thought this was one cycle. It looked like it would. So it's a shame this um, this boss doesn't drop any HP or anything, because that could really go a long way for us in this run. But alas, we get none of that. How much money do we have? 17. Right. Shall I be ballsy? How much are you going to give me if I if I let you munch on my toes? How much? 32. Yes, I will do one munchy munchy in order to buy a key and open a chest. I think that is a very decent trade. Very decent indeed, and it's going to help us a lot if the thing that we get is at all useful. The pitchfork is not bad. It is a weapon that has ammo. That is all it needs to be. I mean, I'm sad that we didn't get to use our um, our injection a little more because that seems like a really fun item. Um, especially on high cash runs, it seems really good. But I guess we'll have to see. It'd be really cool once people start making um, pasts as well. I, I'm sure that there's a, the, the people are quite a ways off that yet, but I'm sure it'll happen at some point. Especially now this game's got kind of out of the devs' hands and it's not being developed as much. I think it's going to be much more likely that modders take a bit more of a full force approach at adding new content and really, really focus up on. I'm not saying that they need to. I'm not saying. I'm not. I'm not saying like, oh, they should really be working hard. But I, I think. I think just. In general, modders are going to want to end up focusing up a bit more and uh, and really going hard at some of the some of the crazy mods, especially people like Kyle. He's already done a lot for this uh, community, and I'm sure I'm sure in his his magnificence and awesomeness he'll do more. Same with Abe Clancy and the other mod creators. They're all they're all good little chappies, and their their mods are very good. And I'm sure there'll be many many custom character and item packs in the future. There's already two custom item packs, like I said, that I've got downloaded. At least we know they work now as well. Hey, a chest. If only we had a key. So double vision with this is... Ow. Double vision with this is going to be great. I think we got hit by a jammed bullet there, did we? Thank God that guy didn't get to shoot. Nice. Yeah, the, the ammo in this thing is very important to us. So we really want to be trying to conserve as much of it as we can. Because we're able to decimate really annoying enemies, such as the Blood Bulods, by turning them into chickens. Poison should kill him. Nice. So we really want to be careful with that ammo. We want to be managing it correctly. And crutch and bounty bullets are making it so much better because we can just hit an enemy so much easier. And then, as you can see there, we're getting at least a little out. At least a little bit of corrosive damage every now and again that's going to help out. I'm still not convinced about the win this time around because we're just in a situation that seems a bit hard to come back from, especially when we keep getting hit by bullshit. Nice. Can't believe the green guy's still about. Where are you? Also, there's a laser beam sound going off constantly because I tended to a chicken while he was firing a laser. It was kind of annoying. Okay, that was great. A very, very good chicken of five right there. Same with... It'd be nice if you weren't chickened. Okay, good, he did. But... Is that laser sound? Oh my god, there's a guy right there. Oh my god. Oh my god. I really shouldn't have used the, um... Use the injection. I mean, I wanted to see what it did, so it's kind of worth it for science. But I really, I really shouldn't have done. Right, um, pitchfork now, I guess. Oh, this has got this has got piercing, so this is going to be better because we're going to get extra damage with crutch plus uh, bounty bullets. It's going to be passing through things and then hitting another enemy and lighting things on fire, dealing passive, corrosive, and fire damage. So I like that. I said corrosive. You've been playing Borderlands too too much. Hey. Casey, I suppose. Really don't need more curse here, but I can't say no to Casey. He does have unlimited ammo after all. Oh my god, ammo. Need to take it for this thing. Nice, it chickenified everything. 
beautiful, beautiful work, gun. Death, you heathen. Back away. Oh, getting a sweet ass chicken of eye on on a jammed enemy. There's nothing more satisfying, is there? There's nothing more satisfying. Go away, chicken. Get my way. Get my house, fool. This is the worst room ever. Thank God we got rid of one of those guys before he managed to shoot. Worst room ever. In the entirety of bullet hell, this is the worst room. And it was a wrong way. Just to add insult to injury, it was a wrong way. Yes, I knew that if I just focused fire on him for long enough, he'd die. Uh, yeah, we'll take ammo for this. Fuck. Thank God I killed him before I got to fire anymore. I'm just firing as many bullets as I can in, in the directions of enemies. <gasps> did I just walk into a pit? I think I did. Fuck. That was very stupid. Hey, boss. It's time to hyper light. Actually, well, let's let's use our, our uh, anvil combo first. Because we can run out of ammo with that first. And it does deal a lot of damage, so... Very happy to have this. And also, it's going to kill all the adds very quickly, too, which is very nice. This is a very, very terrible um, place for him to have started this attack. Very terrible indeed. Going to have to blank it. Cool. Actually didn't use that much ammo here, either. So, I'd say at the minute, we're in with a chance. I don't think we have enough cares for him to be jammed, but if we do, there's a very... Light, high likelihood I'll die if he is, but I think we're on five curse at the minute. I don't think we're quite on high enough curse to spawn. It's six that you need to spawn jammed bosses. So I think we're okay. We just need to blank manage on this fight like a mad lad. Just don't, don't be too scared to blank. If he doesn't attack, I don't like like this one. Use a blank. We've got quite a few. We've got, we've got the damage, so we don't have to worry about that. And that one needs going away as well. There we go. Okay, so the hardest phase is over. Onto this phase. This phase isn't as hard, but it is more bullshit. There's a lot more randomness to it and a lot more weird patterns that you can do. That one's the worst thing, because when he does this attack, right at the start, it can really screw you up. So I am going to blank it. The rocket is also very annoying. I might blank that too, depending on what he does next. Yep, I'm going to blank it. Oh, shit. I didn't see that coming for some reason. You see what I mean? He's just bullshit. Got him. Half a heart left. Beast it. Get done in. Oh, that was a bit of a stressful one, that one. But, cool character. Very interesting. I, I enjoyed thoroughly. I like the way it's just the rolling animation played in slow motion, which is falling into space here. Um, but yes, very enjoyable. I liked it muchly. I hope you guys also enjoyed. And we'll be looking at a few more custom characters and then probably playing some um, ultimately randomized paradox runs because they are fun but dangerous. You can spawn with one HP but also times two damage. It can be a bit crazy. It really depends on the upper limits of what Abe Clancy has set. Like if the boundaries are quite lenient, we can get some really crazy runs. Although it could, it could be the case that it's going to be you can get an extra 25% of each stat, like an extra 25% fire rate. So that's not going to be mad, but it's still going to be fun. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.